Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 97 with me Craig Barton. Now those of you who've been following this Resource of the Week series that I've been recording now for flipping out the last four or five years probably um, will know that I'm a little bit obsessed when it comes to Excel based resources and I'm uh, constantly blown away by the amazing thing teachers can do with Excel building uh, random question generators that give you the answers and so on. However, uh, recently I've come across a couple of examples of amazing things that teachers have been able to do using PowerPoint. Now my PowerPoint skills, uh, the limit of them is probably uh, getting text bouncing in and whizzing around the screen. But wait till you see some of the amazing stuff that, that can be done with PowerPoint. And I've got a few kind of gems stored up for future resources of the week as we go into 2016. But this one caught my eye, uh, not just because of uh, the kind of slickness on PowerPoint, but just because of the pedagogy, the misconceptions, and just the usefulness in the classroom. So it's called the Trigonometry Matching Pairs Picture Game, which has been uploaded by Benny John 5 and it is a single PowerPoint file, and it looks like this. Now I'm going to uh, put my computer to full screen, and hopefully you'll be able to just about uh, see everything. And I should say that when you download it, PowerPoint will give you a load of warnings because it's got macro enabled content so just enable everything and you'll, you'll be good to go so uh, let's fire this up full screen yeah I think you can just about see that and you can see that you can play this one player or with two teams I'm going to go for one player so click on that and you're presented with this now it's your traditional uh, matching up game oh and I should say what you can't quite see at the bottom of the screen because it's cut off is just below here it says no turns and naught out of 12 uh, correct pairs and this keeps a track of uh, your scores. So it's a traditional matching pairs game um, uh, involving trigonometry. But the first thing that caught my eye about this is just, I love the choice of questions. You can see you've got the same numbers appearing. You've got three over four with tan x, three over four with cos x, three over four with sin x, 20s and 40s. Um, so straight away, all the kind of classic misconceptions are gonna be addressed here. Now, there's a few different ways of playing this game, and I'm just going to talk through one way that I used with my uh, Year 11 class just this last week when I discovered this resource. And we played it as whole class. Um, I split them into two teams. Um, I'm a traditionalist or whatever, or just no imagination, so I went boys versus girls. Um, and they just took it in turns to, to say to try and find a matchup that they had. So say, for example, they start with cos, of, uh, cos x equals 3 quarters. You click on that, and then they're looking for one that matches. So maybe they'll want the 3 to be the adjacent and the 4 to be the hypotenuse. So is it that one top right? Or maybe not. Is it that one there? Maybe that one there. So when you click it, um, and if it's a successful match, it shades them both in black, and it adds one to your score, which you can't quite see on the screen. But if you get one wrong, uh, for example, um, let's go for this one here. So uh, trying to find the angle X, and I've got um, an adjacent and an opposite. And say I muddle that up, and I think that's a sign, um, then it just tells me that I've got it wrong, and it brings those back into play. So it's your classic matching up game. So it worked particularly well um, just as a whole class activity and it only took 15 minutes but it was a really slick efficient way to uh, revise the key trig ratios for, for my students and also the classic thing of labeling the sides and not muddling up Pythagoras with trig and it led to some really interesting discussions. But there's lots of other potential for this. Um, as you can see from the start, you can do a two-player game. So if you've got the kids in a computer room, or maybe even with iPads or something like that, they can play against each other and they take it in turns and it keeps a track of who's got what right and who's got what wrong. And this is the amazing thing about the slickness of this PowerPoint. It even times how long it takes the students to, to answer the questions and the winner, if it's a draw, is the one who's answered them faster and so on. So there's loads of potential for this game. But also you can take it further because um, on the PowerPoint, there's instructions about uh, changing it so making a new game so you can change and have your own questions and answers uh, in here so potentially you could use this for any topic or you could take some traditional uh, uh, card sort activities that you have and convert them into this just to make it a bit more interactive and, and visually appealing um, so it's just a wonderful, wonderful use of PowerPoint. And as I say, just for the 10, 15 minutes that we were doing it as a class, the discussions we had were absolutely superb. And it was a really effective way of revising Trig and Pythag. Um, the author is also... Um, using the test store to to sell like a, a more adaptable version of this and you can see it can be used for absolutely anything where you can uh, where you can create your own things and randomize the position of the answers and all that kind of stuff so if it's the kind of thing that interests you then definitely check that out but i just thought that was a really really wonderful uh, quick fire innovative way of revising the key trig ratios and linking in pythagoras as well so hope you like that i um, hope you're all well and i shall be back with a fresh resource of the week next week
Take care and bye for now.